Okay guys, today video I'm uh, going to do my oil changes at home. So I recommend you guys to just take your car to the oil chain place. It will be a whole lot easier and more safety because they got the one that lift your cars up so easier and you don't lose much time. But if you're the type of person like me, you want to do it for your own good, you want to learn for yourself, if you want to do it at home, at least you have this kind of uh, proper tool like this. You have your two bars, your jet stand, your jack, those two uh, safety block, put on your tire so your car won't roll back or front. And you need a pair of gloves and your oil pan. So we'll go for the next step. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to oil change uh, a 2007 Toyota Avalon. And we're going to need a couple tools for that. So the tools are going to be right over here. Like this platform, so, it, so the tools on it so it won't be dirty. And then we're going to use a one and a half French, which is right here. This thing. So we're gonna set that right there, and then a 24 millimeter socket. So it should be maybe around like right here. Okay, right here. So we're gonna set this right there, and then we need a little tool like this to to get out the the old the old ring, the oil ring. So we're gonna set that right here. And then these are the other supplies. This is a oil filter ranch. So we're gonna open, so I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. So it's right here. Looks like this. Okay, so I guess set this right here. And then here's this little filter, filter. And I got it from Toyota, so it says Toyota right there, so I'm going to set that right here. And then we got some paper towels right here, just in case, right here. And then some gloves, just in case that the oil gets on to the sand. So I recommend you guys to wear gloves, just like these ones. So we're going so to go on to the next step. Okay guys, so before you're gonna do your own oil change, then there's a block that you're gonna put in the, in the tire to safety, one on each side like this. If you wanna put the jack on front, and pretty much the car will land down on the back. So gonna be one on each side like that, same on the back. But if you would just, for example, like you wanna tilt on one side only, one gonna be in the back like this, the other block, just gonna say gonna go over here like that on the other side but pretty much you're gonna put the jack in the front so we're gonna tilt all the way down so one on each like this and also another important thing uh, before you're gonna jack the car making sure your brake need to push down neither you have a car that your uh, um, E brake gonna be like this or gonna be in the middle right there that you're gonna you know pull it out pull it up or like that you make sure you're gonna press all the way down like this and for safety before you're gonna jack your car up and the other one will go in the other tire right there like that too okay so if you just do all change it all you have to do most the oil filter and the oil screw release on the other side so you just you just jack on this side right here and then put the jet stand right there 75 percent on the jet stand and you could still leave the big jack uh, to support also the other side you just pull one out there to just support too so you're good to go so here the release screw so we're gonna release this one and put the oil pan down here and right here is the oil filter right here and 
Yeah, it's so already now it's just loose enough, so it, it looks like the oil support to come to drop already, but I don't know it. Okay, so that's how it is. So you're gonna take the screw out this way, like that. Okay, so making sure it's going there, and you're gonna. Oh my god, too hot. Okay, okay. It look like it's soft now. Let's so see. Let's see how it is. Okay, guys. So I won't be able to take the bottom part. Most people won't be able to take the bottom part. So I try, but I won't be able to take the bottom part. So I try the top and see when, when it come out. Let's see how it. I know it's now it be able to. Okay, so now it's the uh, oil. It just drip it, so I gonna no matter what, I'm gonna take the filter out and let it. There you go. Oh my God! Look at this. Whew. Hallelujah! Like this. Filter, filter. Okay, I'm gonna sit in there for a little bit, and I'm gonna let it drip for a little bit, and I'll clean up up there. Okay guys, so now I start dripping, so you're gonna clean up here really good before you're gonna put the new filters on and everything's on, so you're gonna clean really good up here. Okay, so, so guys, so making sure you put the washer back in there, but then there's a new one. Every time when you buy the filter, they're gonna give you a new washer. Even the old one's still good. You're gonna, I recommend you put the new ones in. So you're gonna wipe it out the, uh, down here. So wipe it over real good and you're gonna put it back in. Wipe it really good and clean like that. Then you're gonna put this back in. It's just hand tight first. Then you're gonna I'm gonna put this on. So this one you don't have to be really really extra tight but you know like just say you know after you all change for two three days then you're gonna come back and check to see is it tight and is it's not leaking but you're not extra tight if it, it looks like I make it tight enough so it should be good now on that one so I'm gonna clean up the filter but I, I'm just struggled down here, so I'm gonna get out and clean up that before I put it back in. So, okay, guys, so now I'm gonna take it this thing, okay, take the oil filter out like this. So, I'm gonna clean the cover, the cap, and all those. But a lot of people I have a same struggle, I won't be able to take this out so. Might be next time because uh, now it's sun is setting, so I don't have much uh, sunlight no more. So I just want to make it quick I can to put the filter back in and yes, put in there before I fill the oil back in. A lot of time when you take this out, you're going to put the drain when you buy the filter. So it got the, the, the drain, the plug. So you're going to put this one on. When you take the cap out and then put this on on and it got the hose so you can drain the oil out so when you take it off so not a lot of oil but a lot of people struggle with the same problem so just screw this one out so i just clean this real quick and then uh, gonna put the new filters on okay so i'm gonna rip it up and i'm gonna use a bigger oil ring the little one, it, I won't be able to take it off, so I should keep it for next time to see how it is. And when next time you're gonna buy no one, you're gonna come with, but just in case you might, uh, you might need it, so just keep it, don't throw away. So just keep it in a good place, and then gonna pull the. Okay, guys, so you're gonna take the little tool like this to take the o ring out, and. My neck and is low, get low. Also, just clean really quick. And you're gonna put the new ones on. The new ones on, you're gonna make it a little while you're there. 
So we're gonna put it back in there. Make sure all in section like that. So I guess that's that's how it is. Okay. Okay, so now ready to put the filters on. So the filter, it looked like both sides, it's just the same thing. So I don't think it's matter. So just put it back in like this. So ready to go. Okay guys, so I go in the dealer, but they out of them. So I don't have the original one from over there. So I just bought from Autumn Park. Then it depends on what kind of oil you like it, you know. I want to buy marble, but marble is also out too, so it's not a lucky day. So I just put this, you know, Castro H in there. So okay, guys. So it's uh, it's your V6 engine. So you're supposed to put like six quarts in there. So there's only five quart. I forgot, and I just only get uh, one five quart big bottle like this. So you could just put this for like one or two day, and then you check and you will go buy another small bottle come and add to it so now that I just finished the whole five quarts in there so okay guys so I already load my whole five quart the big bottles in there already so I wait about 15 20 minutes now so I'm gonna check the lab the oil level to see how it is in there but making sure you put your stick all the way down like this and then when you pull up, then check this here, see what I, I just, a little bit over the first dot, and maybe I might let it six overnight to see how it is. So far, I know my nephew told me that, you know, like, um, this uh, 2007 Toyota album gonna take like 6.4 quart, but I'm not usually do that, so I just put like five quarts in there, I wait until tomorrow, and then I check it again to see how it is. I might add another quart, uh, one whole quartz in, it's in there. So, well, if this little thing helped you, just hit the subscribe button and share. Thank you. I see you next time.